the time that I was pinned down by an enemy sniper, uh, it, it, it took me to a place where not many people get a chance to go. The film is based upon two snipers. Uh, they used a real enemy sniper's name uh, back when I was in Iraq. His nickname was the Chechen. Uh, he was a Chechen sniper, used to fight back in uh, Afghanistan with the Russians. So I had a chance to go up against him, me and my spotter, uh, for about eight hours. Say that again. You got an accent. Not American. So they're using a little bit of him and uh, a real military unit. And it's uh, not even a cat and mouse game. It's more of a, a chess match uh, between two supercomputers. What? Talk to me, man. Talk to me. What's going on down there? Guys, they are hit shots, man. <laughs> I had a, uh, a lot of sit down time with the director, Doug Lyman and Aaron Taylor and uh, really got a chance to go through the entire script to make sure everything did sound the way it would sound overseas or within the military. Uh, looking at the script the first time, it was way, way off. It, was, um, it wasn't bad or anything. It's just the terminology and the math and stuff like that. The, some of the tactics that snipers use uh, were just off in the movie. So it was my job to put it back on track. Hit and run. Whoever he is, he's gone. Unless he's a pro. We got no movement, not a sign of a shadow. I'm going down there, and that's it. It's a method that I had to use overseas. It's called the snap bang. It, it's almost like when you see lightning and you wait, you count, you until you hear the thunder, you can almost judge how far or how many miles away the storm is. The same rules almost apply with, um, with bullets. So you hear the snap of the round. Uh, seconds later, you count a certain a prescribed amount, and then when you hear the bang and uh, a little mathematical equation, you can determine out where the sniper is uh, from your position. Being able to, to show something that I learned overseas from a really, really phenomenal instructor that not many people get a chance to see. It's the, the mathematics and on the fly, in, I guess, ingenuity uh, it takes to be a sniper. You don't really get a chance to see that. You get eyes on him? Where'd he come from? I don't know! I've stayed with Aaron at his house a few times and, and every day it was, you know, we were always together. So he would ask me a question on, you know, what did it feel like at this point in time or how would, we, how would you react if you were shot here? And I've been shot at thousands of times or, you know, by, you know, various types of weapon systems. But the time that I was pinned down by an enemy sniper, uh, it, it, it took me to a place where not many people get a chance to go. Um, you know that this guy is looking at you through a 8 to 10, 20 power scope and he can see you know, your eyes blink at certain times are the, you know, uh, your chest rise and fall as you breathe. You don't really get that intimacy um, opposed to getting shot at or shooting at someone with a, a different type of weapon system. So putting that in into the, the film really gives everyone a chance to get that feel, that, that, uh, that emotion. Games and movies, Thursday at 6 p.m. on Forces TV.